Hey everybody, my name is Megalosaurus and this is Dice and Dinosaurs, the show where Bloomborough comes out and we have to figure out if Bloomborough is a better value than Pokemon. If you saw last time, Pokemon needs a little, uh, a little win here. I wanted to do this again to see if we might have an upset, but I don't know what the outcome will be, so I guess we'll have to see. Today we're going to be opening a Magic the Gathering Bloomborough bundle and a Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Temporal Force Elite Trainer Box. Both of them are roughly around the same price, but which one will come out on top of Value Town? Gonna use the box. The box is its own undoing. All right, so temporal forces. I'm gonna take that off. We ooh, we have our nice little guide here. I love that uh, Pokemon includes these, so you can like they know that it's more for collecting, so you can actually see all the cards that come in the set and mark them off as you get them. So that's really cool. We have the box, and then the insert, which is always nice. Glad they include those. We're gonna move that out of the way as well. Let's see. We've got the packs. It's gonna come with counters and inserts to divide your, or rather, card dividers. Hey everybody, Future Editing Mankey here. Uh, this goober uh, does not bother to turn the dividers around, because uh, they have this cool little iron leaves design on them. So uh, I just wanted to put that in here and show those off, because I didn't do that while I was recording, because I didn't even realize that was a thing. Also while I'm here, a bit of a disclaimer, card prices, turns out, fluctuate. So uh, when I talk about the card prices in the video, I'm a little off, but I have fixed it in the edit, so everything should be good. I will be back later to record a new outro, though. <laughs> our inserts. Uh, we get energy and our promo card, Iron Thorns. That's pretty cool. And we get some sleeves. Oh wait, what else is in here? Oh, cool. Uh, we get little coins too. Uh, much like the last one, we did this with 151 last time, and these uh, are pretty similar. I think these are burn and poison counters actually, but I guess you might be also able to use them for heads and tails uh, coins. So, actually, I guess it doubles us both, because I think you have to flip for burn and poison, right, in Pokemon? So you get uh, coins that do both and have little symbols for each status effect. So that's cool. We've got the packs. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine packs! All right, we will go ahead and open up Bloombro. I love that Pokemon gives you sleeves. Uh, Magic does not, I believe. I, I don't think... No, Magic doesn't give sleeves, right? Not crazy. I don't remember ever opening a Magic product and it came with sleeves. Alright, so we got the Bloomboro bundle. It's gonna have its insert in it. Yep, and you got your Otter, your trackers for different counters and stuff. Uh, plus one, plus one, stun counters... And then this is gonna have... Oh, we do get a spin down, though. Oh, I love this. This spin down is sick. That shade of green is really cool. I'm really huffing copium. I'm definitely more of a magic person. I'm like, I get a whole spin down, guys! Even though Pokemon gave me card sleeves and counters and a bunch of other stuff, magic gave me a die! Woo! So, we have... Ignoring these, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 as well. Awesome. So we'll go ahead and get these out of the way then and see what all comes in the bundle. Uh, we'll just count this as, like, Pokemon comes with the counters and the coins and all that stuff. This is essentially what you get for the magic stuff. Uh, a lot of full art lands. I, ooh, I love these. Oh, my God. These are nice. So you get a bunch of full art lands from the sets, all the cute little animals going through the different seasons. I really like that. Those are definitely going in some of my decks. And then, what is in this one? I haven't... These don't feel like they're foils, so that's really good. They normally include a bunch of uh, really bent foils. Wait, these are foils! And they're not bent! Oh my god! Look at this! Non-bent foils! Can you believe that? In a magic product in 2024? What? That's amazing! 
they actually don't have bends in them. They always used to have bends in them. Oh, but they're not as many full arts. Oh well. I'm just happy to not have bends in my foils. That's so sick. Uh, and then we get a Thunder Trap Trainer as a, a what I can only assume is a promo card. Is an Otter Wizard, so that looks pretty cool. I'm gonna have to. One of my friends is making an Otter deck, so I'll have to give that to them for sure. So we're gonna go to the packs. Bluebird's going first because I want to open packs for Bluebird. Alrighty, so first Bloomboro pack, we're gonna see what we get. I've also got price guides pulled up on the side, so I'll know when we hit stuff. Uh, before, real quick, I am gonna go ahead and put up, so just so if uh, people aren't aware of the major hits in these, uh, in the Pokemon set and the Bloomboro set, I will go ahead and put the top five hits on screen now. So these are the cards we're looking for, or hoping to get from both products. So now that that is settled, I will go ahead and open our first Bloomboro pack. Drop cure and, and a Mabel! Yes! Hey, that's nice. Awesome. Uh, that is pretty rad. Mabel is cool. Uh, Boros equipment to go burr. So, we got a food token and innkeeper's talent. Yes! Ooh, another rare. Nice. That's cool. And a floor point. That is a decent pack. up there with ones that are like too crazy but i really wanted this card uh the reason i even picked temporal forces is because there were a couple pokemon that i really like in it and this is one of them we got a torterra ex hollow uh oh that's so sick i love torterra Maha, it's Feathers Night. Okay, that's pretty cool.
essence channeler. Heck yeah, another bat. Let's go. Oh, sick, yeah! Bat counter is at five, and we got the hollow Zorline Cosmos Caller. It's not crazy expensive. It's not like a mega hit, but I'm so glad we got the hollow. I was able to get a non-hollow of this uh, at the pre-release because someone was like super nice and was uh, just handed me the they because they got a hollow and a non-hollow, and they handed me their non-hollow. So I was like, yeah, confirm Zorline or Zorline. So now I have a hollow as well. Awesome. A master ball, a shine. Oh my god, that looks awesome! Holy crap, what is what is where's that at? Oh, a Ba Beza the Bounding Spring. That's not bad. Fabled Passage, that's not bad. I'll take that. Heck yeah. We got a Raging Bolt EX, let's go! Alright, so that is all of the Bloomboro packs. Uh, Maha is definitely going to be our number one hit for sure. And, Are you sure uh, about that? So, last Pokemon pack. <sighs> Pokemon can still clutch it out! You have so many hits that are possible to get. And if we get just one of them, we blow Maha out of the water. Fuck that owl. It's annoying anyway. So, what do you got for me, Pokemon? We have... A Lickitung. A Slugma. A Solosis. A Scyther. This is looking a lot similar to my, one of my other packs. A future booster energy capsule. An iron hands. A rescue board. It's a hollow. Oh, it's a. Or, yeah, okay, it's a hollow mud gray. What's this? What's this? What's this? What's this? Okay, it's just an bar. Oh, okay, so it's a hollow. I should probably do this from the, whatever. Uh, oh, it's got a good retreat cost. That's a good sign. Oh, it's no, it's it's Macargo. Okay, just a regular old Macargo. And then our energy. Dang. Ah. Oh. Why must you fail me so often? In magic, we were able to pull a combined total of roughly fifty dollars in value, and in Pokemon. We got like four.
Like four dollars. The only thing I think we pulled was the Raging Bolt, and that's and the only thing that was over two dollars, which I'm still shocked about, especially after seeing that Master Ball. How is that Master Ball only like a dollar? It's like God, what am I doing wrong with Pokemon? I don't I don't understand. People, give me tips. I want to. Am I, did I open the wrong type of Elite Trainer box? Do I need to get another one? I'm gonna do this again. Pokemon needs a W. I need a Pokemon W. So this is happening again. Either way. But regardless of any of that, uh, magic is the victor! Hooray! <laughs> I guess I just reached the magic to better crank game! I, just, I don't know what to tell you! That's just, I just got the better pools! It's just out the card! The cards say that the magic's better! I don't know what to tell Anyway, that is gonna do it for today's video. I hope everybody enjoyed it. The battle of value, I don't even know if this is a series or what to call this series, but uh, it was fun and I'm going to keep doing it, and I'll see everybody in the next video when that comes out. I am planning on opening more stuff here soon, but it won't exactly be the same as this video. Uh, I've been streaming on Twitch a little bit more, twitch.tv slash Dyson Dinosaurs, I'll put it probably over my stupid face uh, on screen so you can go there. And uh, I think that's everything. Uh, just make sure to like and subscribe the video so I know that it's uh, people like it if you do. And if you don't like this, dislike it because I need to know that too. Either way, I'm I'm here for the metrics. Leave me in the comments below uh, what was your favorite pool. Like, tell me what Pokemon product I need to open instead. Give me suggestions for the next one. Maybe I can do like, I want to revisit 151, so maybe I get another 151 and then do like Thunder Junction for MTG or something like that. Like, I want to keep pitting these different sets against each other and see what does what. Anyway, I hope everybody has a fantastic day and I will see everybody in the next video. Goodbye!